I'm Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. This is Movement Fix Monday. Joining me as the demo today is Tia, the demo girl. And guess what? She's sporting the female version of the Movement Fix t-shirt available for pre-order. This is what it looks like, female cut. It's nice and fitted, tri-blend, it's awesome. What we're gonna talk about today though in this video is about a specific type of person who squats and their knees kind of cave in a little bit. They track inside the middle of the foot and that is something that we want to correct in squatting mechanics. And the problem with this person though, the, the thing that they have a hard time with is when we cue them or have them squat with their knees tracking to the middle to the outside of the foot, they roll their feet and kind of go on the outside of their feet rather than knowing how to keep their feet planted. So Tia's gonna show us what it looks like. I don't know if her arches are capable of collapsing She's gonna show us the kind of squat that we're trying to correct here. So just go ahead and squat. And we see like this person, the knees kind of come in, the arch collapses, we don't like it. But, go ahead and come back up. When we try to correct it, when we tell them, hey, get that knee so it's tracking over this, they roll on the outside of their feet and they lift off right here. And we don't want this because we want the foot to stay firmly planted on the ground. And so I'm gonna show you guys a cue that this person needs or a, um, a drill that they need to do in order to be able to do this. I first heard about this drill from uh, Christopher Johnson, PT. He's a running phenomenon, phenom of the world. So Chris Johnson, I think he's in uh, Seattle now. So uh, this is kind of where I first saw this and am uh, applying it to what we do a lot of, which is squatting. So w to start, um, you know, doing this in squatting is important, but sometimes being standing, there's just too many things going on standing and squatting to be able to learn a new way of moving. And so we're gonna start supine or laying on the back here. And what I'm gonna do here is put my fingertip underneath this part of Tia's big toe. And I, what I want her to do is press into my finger and then I'm gonna put my hand here on her knee. And then what she has to do is keep pressure on the fingertip as she presses the knee out. And then we'll just do a couple reps of that. Go ahead and relax, good. Press down on my finger, push into my hand, go as far as you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keeping that big toe down. Because the person who has a hard time with this, what are they gonna to wanna to do? They're going to want to push out and then they don't know how to rotate through the midfoot to keep that foot on the ground. Okay, so go ahead and push. So once the athlete knows what this feels like to keep the foot down as the hip moves, the knee internally rotates a bit, we can do this standing because ultimately we're not going to do that for time, right? So we need to be able to incorporate it into a drill in a standing squatting position. So what we have here is we have a little setup. We have a red band and then we have my pink uh, Dr. RD jump, uh, RPM jump rope. And what we're doing with the jump rope here is we're using the, uh, the rope part as a tactile cue under the big toe so Tia can feel and think about pressing into that, um, into the rope. And then what she's gonna do is first is just gonna start off by learning how to bend the knee. And the band is here so she has something to press in against or out against as she goes into a bending pattern. So go ahead and just do a couple reps. Oh, you just, want me. just Just lock and unlock, lock and unlock. And so if this starts to lift, she will lose the feeling of pressing onto the jump rope. So we wanna make sure that we have that pressing out into the band. And then ultimately we wanna integrate this into an air squat or eventually a loaded squat. And so she's actually just going to do squats here, thinking about pressure here, pressure here, and rewiring uh, that uh, squatting pattern. Good, go ahead and relax. Trying to train this person to do this in a Metcon setting is very ineffective because the goal is metabolic conditioning, not learning how to squat in a four time, four weight setting. So you wanna make sure that you do this as its own sort of movement drill rather than coaching it or cueing it during a workout because nothing ever sticks because you're going fast and it's hard to make those changes. So that's what I got for you guys for Movement Fix Monday. Give that a try. These shirts are available for pre-order until Wednesday of uh, this week, so make sure you go to the website and pre-order that. Hey, if you don't like us on Facebook already, go to facebook.com slash themovementfix, like us there, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and follow me on Instagram, at themovementfix. See you next week.